3 sekunde i tutas pobilas yeah, got a bit of age on not really great specimens in New Zealand they tend to get hammered by insects these are a decent size though tend to get stag headed get branchy in the top See here a good example of the bark, generally smooth bark, it tends to have sort of vertical stripes in it like that one, usually greenish grey, quite distinctive to look at, the bark, and the one here, very glossy long green leaves. Really thick leaves. See the insect damage on the back of this one if I can get it to focus. Very distinctive fruit. Large capsules. Singles. See they got that waxy white coating on the back of them. See another example there of the bark. Greenish and smooth and vertically striped. You can see the amount of fruit on that one there. These ones are really untidy. I often see these with a mixture of juvenile foliage at the bottom as well as adult foliage. You can see that on this one here. You can see the bluish juvenile foliage there. A few wild seedlings come out here, the bluish ones. It's a juvenile globulus. It's quite large leaves, and white glaucous bloom on them. You should rub that off your fingers. It's a way to tell them apart from nidens. Actually, quite a different leaf. Keep them side by side. These are quite leathery and quite floppy. Really square stems on the juveniles. Again, quite powdery. You can rub that powdery. Coating off easily with fingers, badly insect damaged in New Zealand. Always attacked on the tips. They still seem to grow right. This one's really dry. See the shape of the leaves? It's quite bluish when they're young. 